Um, in answer to your question, how far are we on the road to theocracy? You know, how quickly are we going down that trajectory? So this is Israel's Minister of Justice, Ayelet Shaked. You know, she has in the past made genocidal statements like this one, saying all Palestinian people have enemy, so they should all be killed, okay. Now, after she made the statement, she was made Justice Minister. Now, just this year, she passed a new law that states that from now on, Israeli judges, um, when they do not have a precedent setting, like if they have to make a ruling and they cannot find anything in Israeli case law that tells them, instructs them how they should rule in that instance, that they should then turn to the Talmud as a guidebook. Okay, this law was passed just this year. So we can see that we are starting to take steps on that path. Now, this is the, in the current government. As we see, each successive government becomes more racist than the one that preceded it. So for the next government, who knows, you know, the, obviously the cabinet seats will see a reshuffling. The woman who's already expressed her preference to be the next justice minister, and she may very well get it, this is from the ruling Likud party, <coughs> Nurit Koren. And she is now proposing uh, essentially that to strip the Supreme Court of its powers altogether. So if up until now there's been a check and balance system where the Israeli parliament can legislate laws, but if the judiciary finds that they are anti-democratic, then the judiciary can rule them, uh, overrule them, and say they are unconstitutional, so-called. But according to the new law that Norit Koren is proposing, the judiciary would no longer have that ability. That the Knesset can vote in any law, no matter how racist, and that there would be the Supreme Court would not be able to ra rail it in. Now, why I say this because. The law, as you see, she's standing on a podium, and this is the group where she's discussing that law. And this group is Der Chaim. They are a dominionist group, one of these groups that wants to turn Israel into a theocracy openly. It's, a, it doesn't, it's not bashful about it. It says openly it wants to cr turn Israel into a theocracy. And she's partnering with them. In fact, they authored the legislation. They wrote the bill. And they convinced her to adopt it, and she is the one fighting for it in the Knesset, and she wants to be the next justice minister that strips the justice ministry of its power. So destroy it from within. Now, who is this man, Yitzchak Ginsburg, the chief rabbi of Der Chaim, this dominionist group that wants to turn Israel into a theocracy? Well, he is one of the most popular Chabad rabbis and most popular and powerful in Israel. He is the uh, religious authority behind the King's Torah. I don't know if you've heard of this book, The King's Torah, but it was published about a decade ago. It's like, a th again, a theological treatise. It asks the question. It says, under what circumstance may a Jew kill a non-Jew? That's the question the book asks. And it answers, the authors answer it by saying, well, pretty much under any circumstance, there is justification for killing babies if it is clear that they will grow up to harm us. Okay, you now have a license to murder babies. This man wrote the introduction to the book, the asmachta, the, the one who gave it the religious seal of approval. Yes, this conforms with all the laws of Judaism. I, I sponsor this book. So he wrote this book, and after he wrote this book, people actually went out and burned a baby. They firebombed the Dawabsha family in the village of Duma in the West Bank, and him and his you know, one-year-old baby and father and mother were burned to death by people who took this book as an instruction manual. And at the scene of the crime, they scrawled graffiti with the Chabad uh, motto. Now, this man, as I said, you know, a couple years ago, he actually gave a talk at Tel Aviv Concert Hall, the largest public venue in Tel Aviv, sponsored by the Chabad movement. Okay, so this isn't fringe, 
And not only is it, you know, this is where the, the, the eliminationist camp, but as I've demonstrated, they are now being brought into the halls of power. It's the ruling Likud party that is co-sponsoring legislation with this group that openly advocates uh, you know, a theocracy and even writes instruction manuals for how to commit genocide and he is now being whitewashed as a political partner of the Israeli government. So I know I didn't give you facts and figures to tell you how, you know, are we at a 23% theocracy or a 49%? I don't know the numbers, but I hope that these an anecdotes can relate in some small way the, the slippery slope that we're heading down, that we, we're approaching that, that cutoff point every day. That's the most I can say about it right now, but it's frightening. And yes, there are people fighting back, but, uh, but this is the spirit of the times. This is the zeitgeist.